now surrounded by his entourage, Sugar Ray Leonard, the challenger, the champion going into last June 20th, but after that, the challenger. Sugar Ray Leonard surrounded by, among others, Angelo Dundee, his chief second and cut man, James Morton, his old friend and trainer, and of course, Mike Trainer, his lawyer and in effect business manager. Sugar Ray Leonard, about whom suddenly there are so many questions. Is he in fact intimidated as you look at him by Roberto Duran? As we've suggested, can he change his boxing style? Will Duran let him? He has seen to me, and I have known him so well since the Montreal Olympic Games. Very tense, very overwrought, but he says he is extremely ready for this match, that he is strong. Here comes the champion, the man who openly says that Leonard is afraid of him. The man who says that he will knock Leonard out this time, that it will be an easier fight than the last time when it was so close and Leonard was so valiant in defeat. Each man weighed in at 146 pounds. Their records speak for themselves. Sugar Ray, 27 and 1 with 18 knockouts. Duran, an incredible 72 and 1 with 56 knockouts. The reach advantage to Sugar Ray at 70 and a half inches to Duran, 66. But the man with the hands of stone, as you look at him, from Panama, has to be regarded as one of the greatest fighters in his weight. But never waves of touch you, didn't move you, didn't cause a chill along your spine, I don't suppose anything could. What a remarkable man, what a remarkable performer. And now, as the crowd gives him a deserved ovation, he wanders toward his namesake, Ray Charles Leonard. And Leonard, who was very tense in the hours earlier, now seems oddly poised and confident. We'll be back with the start of the fight in a moment. Weighing in tonight at 146 pounds, the former champion of the world, Sugar Ray Leonard. Sugar Ray Leonard, there is the record already detailed to you, being introduced to the crowd here in the Superdome in New Orleans, Louisiana. Sugar Ray, a challenge. 
at a young age, at 24, coming back. And there being introduced, the champion, Roberto Duran. His only loss coming on November 17, 1972. 10-round decision to Esteban De Jesus. He avenged that with an 11th round knockout over De Jesus. March 16, 1974, in Panama City, Panama. So they are getting ready for the rematch. You see the two ancient ones in Roberto Duran's corner, Freddie Brown, the cut man, the chief handler, and Ray Arcel, Freddie Brown in green and Arcel in white. Arcel over 80 years of age. Angelo Dundee, the man behind Muhammad Ali through all of the great years and standing by him in the declining ones too. The referee, the third man in the ring, Octavio Mehran of Mexico, a skilled, good referee. We had him in Minter Antifermo too over in London. He did on balance a good job. The action begins. What you want to look for here in the early going is if Leonard can establish anything. Already he's showing more movement than he showed in the first fight. But Duran stays in ring center. He has a way of making you fight his kind of fight. We are scoring on the 10-point must system, scoring done by three judges. No voice in the scoring by the referee. Three knockdown rule wave. You see Sugar Ray Leonard dancing as Durant temporarily tries to get to him. Then a quick lunge by Leonard. I'll identify the judges in a moment. The ring, a big ring, 21 by 21. First round action, we are a minute 25 into the round. Duran, a fearsome looking man, no question. There's Leonard, that's what he wants to do in this fight, he says. He did not work his jab efficiently in the first fight. punch his 56 knockouts a test to that <laughs> Leonard covering as Durant is the aggressor and Durant is so hard to penetrate we have 20 seconds left in the round. Leonard <laughs> trying to put his combinations together. He had the round one at hand. <laughs> Leonard complained about a soft point within the ring. Dundee went over the test. I don't know what, if anything, can be done about it or if anything should. But the point is that Leonard was unhappy with the feel of the ring about five to seven feet from Duran's corner. Hands up. All right, the start of round two. The first round, Duran the aggressor until the final seconds. Suddenly, Leonard started putting things somewhat together. Leonard showing much more movement. Now, that's the kind of action that we had throughout the first fight. Duran pulling Leonard against the ropes, but this time, Leonard got out and away quickly. 
Leonard has unquestionably built up his upper body strength, though it still doesn't match Durant. Durant got in a good, quick right lead just seconds ago. Forty-five seconds into round two. to use the uppercut on the infighting, which he could not do or did not do in the first fight. A good right by Leonard, a good right. Stuck Duran, Duran in a fury, going after Leonard. But Leonard caught him with a good chopping right. Now, Duran with that familiar leer, half stare, look at him, you see the smile across his face. Leonard. Sticking strictly to business. You see the Leonard movement. A missed right by Duran and then a missed left. As Leonard shows more movement in the early stages of this bout, Duran who pulverized Leonard with a right hand in the second round of the first fight, has not been able to score in the early going the way he did last time around. Ah, you saw the uppercut, the Leonard right uppercut. That's another part of the tactic for this fight. seconds left in the second round. The best blow of the round, a chopping right by Leonard. It caused fury on Durant's ball. They're coming to the end of round two. because why you didn't see him smiling there. There's Durant, knows Don't he's in a fight. Furious over right what happened to him in the second man. round. We've got a Don't fight. Now as we start round three, Ray Arcel just called Durant. Got to keep him on the ropes. Pull him against the ropes the way you did in the first fight. So far, Durant has not been able to do it. Good left lead by Leonard. And away from the ropes. Third round action. Leonard's kind of fight. Still the very early goal. One blow from Duran. Well, Leonard himself said the second round right in the first fight had him almost senseless until the fifth round. Now, that's the way Duran wants to get him. Pull him against the ropes and hit him in the belly. Those blows to the midsection take so much out of him. Accumulate him. Leonard wanting 
to establish and work the jab. That's the way Duran fought the first fight. Mayron quickly breaking. Duran got in a good right. He hurt Leonard, but Leonard is smiling. And Leonard continues his movement. Great athletes, no question about it. Duran now, that's twice in this round. He has resorted to pulling, holding, trying to put Leonard against the ropes. Mayron broke it up. They are now toe-to-toe -to -toe again. And Leonard got away from the ropes with an uppercut. And Duran trying to keep him against the ropes. Mayron not interfering this time. Duran trying to fight his fight. Duran getting in some effective blows. But Leonard himself responding in reasonable time. And so we wear down round three. And Leonard is openly smiling at Duran. And Duran is furious. The sneer is off his face. It is a different Leonard. There is confidence there. Now, Duran is staring at Leonard. He moves! All right. We await the start right away, of round now. four, as Ray Arcel tells Duran again. Get him against the ropes. Round four underway. Just a terrific fight thus far. Now let's see if Duran can continue successfully to maul Leonard the way he began to do in the third round. Under the exhortation of Ray Arcel. Notice how Leonard tries to use the uppercut in close. How he ducked and made Duran miss. But Roberto is a remarkable fighter, indomitable, and one of the hardest punches for his weight classification who has ever lived. There's a blow to the midsection by Leonard, and that stung Duran. Again, Leonard with the uppercut. I'll tell you this, Duran may clean up on Leonard before it's over, but he's got to respect this young man. Look at the quickness of Leonard's hands. Leonard has said he went to school the first fight. Well, we'll see. 15 rounds is a long time. The right by Duran was Caught by Leonard, picked off. Leonard off balance. Remember, Duran is punishing with either hand. We are two minutes into round four. Duran with a right to the midrange. Duran missing with a right lead. Short with his blows twice. Duran. Leonard trying to work the left. Duran trying to maul and brawl. Halfway himself through the ropes. And Leonard getting out to ring center. There's now to the final seconds. And you saw a good quick shot by Leonard to Duran's face. down now toward the end of round four. There you see Duran holding. Snap. Peter Boston here. Peter Boston. The bell for round five. Keep up the pace. Keep up the pace. Dundee kept screaming at Leonard between rounds. 
Be the boss in there. You've been the boss. Stay the boss. Well, I'll say this. It's certainly a better beginning for Leonard than in the last fight. Mayron breaking the fighters. Octavio Mayron. The three judges are Jim Bramell from Wales, Jean Deswert from Belgium, Mike Jacobs from England. They do the scoring. Ten point must system. No saving by the bell. Except the final round. Usual rules. We knock down rule waved. And a reminder, a big ring, 21 by 21. Oh, Leonard is in that soft spot that he complained about. You just saw the ring sink. He got away from there in a hurry, but now against the ropes. This time, breaking away from the ropes, Leonard shot a right. Fifth round action. A minute and a half into it. Leonard continuing to show move. Good left. He beat Durant to the punch with his left. Leonard did. A good left. That hurt Durant. And when you hurt Roberto, you're hurting a stocky tree. Two minutes into round five. Leonard smiles. He was pulled to the ground. That was not a punch. That was not a knockdown. It was a pull. A, a push. And the crowd knows it. And Mayron knew it. And Leonard just smiled. But Duran is falling more and more on his part into the pattern of the first fight. Durant got in a good sharp right lead. It hurt Leonard. This is what Durant can do to you quickly from nowhere as we count down toward the end of round five. Notice in with Leonard against the ropes. Durant having him where he wanted him. Dur Leonard started hitting him in the midsection and effectively but this is the way Duran wants this fight to be fought as round five ends. Keep him on the ropes and punch. Round six is underway. It has been a tremendous fight. This, I said, had the look of a war, and that is what it has been. Fighting the fight his way the last round. Bulling Leonard. Getting him against the ropes. More and more now, as the fight progresses, Duran is working Leonard into the ropes. 50 seconds into round six. Quick left jab by Leonard. Sneer by Durant. Look at Leonard move, using that 21-foot ring. And trying to work his jab. trying to ward Durant off. May run. Good left by Leonard as Durant caught it coming into Leonard. But there again against the ropes. It's noteworthy that the three judges are from Europe. On balance, they award points for boxing skill, not for falling and brawling. On balance, that's been their history. We are two minutes into round six. Leonard trying to get to Durant's belly, not successful, though he did that. A good left by Leonard. Durant sneering, but you don't win with 
for the steer. Roberto's got to start scoring, too. A slip there in that soft part of the ring that Leonard complained about after the first round. stay away from that sagging area which has the look of a broken board under the canvas. All right, the bell for round seven. Now Duran's corner is complaining about that apparently soft board over near Duran's corner. Leonard had a good round, I thought, in round six. It's very tough to score a fight between these two men. It really is. Dundee was telling Leonard, you got it in the bag. It's no contest up till now. But that's Dundee telling his man. I don't agree with that. Though at this point, I have Leonard slightly ahead. trying to get to the midsection, doubling and tripling on the jab, but not hitting very effective. Again, go down, Dundee told him. Move down, then move up. Leonard with the kind of movement that made him the darling of the people in Montreal and brought him 27 consecutive victories until he came a cropper against this man, Duran. Round seven. Both men superbly conditioned. Leonard now, he better stop that. Duran is no one to play around with, to posture with. Seems bewildered. Arcel shouting instructions at him in the corner. They are wiping Duran off, and round eight has begun. Establishing his movement in the early going. Establishing his ability occasionally to work that jab. Leonard has fought a totally different fight. And not allowing Duran 
to Bullum against the ropes. Every minute of every round, the way Duran did first time around. Again, Octavio Mehran of Mexico, the third man in the ring. during this round by Leonard. I think people have underrated the physical strength of Sugar Ray Leonard. He is much stronger than his body appears. You see the time? The pace is slackened in this round. It would have had to, I think. That time it was Leonard who was holding. Leonard keeps those hands moving. Right there, a good left. And Duran must resort to pulling in. And he does. Shall I know it's 